Are these from your travels abroad? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, these are from uh, when I went to the Third World. Uh, I, lo I do love the Third World. It's, uh, it is great. Although a bit poor sometimes. Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit too poor for my liking. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, this year has been just one heck of a year for disaster, really, hasn't it? I mean, it's been one thing after the other. Uh, first of all, we had the BP oil spill, uh, and that that was that was quite the disaster. I mean, how it so profoundly impacted so many innocent lives. Uh, gosh, it it that disaster claimed so many victims. Uh, Richard and I saw our shares plummet by 80%. But, you know, I mean, we're, we're the lucky ones in this situation. I mean, we also have uh, shares in a Wellington boot factory in Pakistan. So, you know, we're the lucky ones in this situation. It's not just Africa that has suffered during this recession. Believe you me, I mean, I've been... I've been doing my bit, uh, ploughing money into foreign economies. I've actually been up to the northeast twice this year, twice. So yeah, just popping a few of my bits up to local charity shops up there. It's been uh, it's been very humbling. So I've got some lovely bits and pieces for you. Um, there's a little bit of Louis, a little bit of uh, Chanel. You know, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Great. Any time, girls, any time. <laughs> I've never stayed long enough to learn the language, but um, it does humble me how they treat me as one of their own. 